All eyes were on Boca Chica, Texas. We have left off. As the Starship rocket blasted off at sunrise. On its return to Earth, SpaceX achieved something never done before with their heaviest rocket. This is absolutely insane. Getting its booster to land not in the ocean, but instead guiding it back to the same launch pad into a pair of giant mechanical arms, what's known as a chopsticks maneuver. No one was on board, but the flight is crucial to the company's goal of making space travel more cost effective through reusable technology. This was the most exciting live event since of the Apollo moon landings. I mean, to see this event live was, it blew me away <laughs> to watch it. The 21-story super heavy booster with 33 engines returned to land nearly seven minutes after launch. To be able to slow down a piece this big, put it back where it launched from, is pretty significant. It's an advancement in technology. SpaceX has grown to dominate the space launch business. It's more of an advantage almost to have a private company in that it's, they're taking more risk. His name is Elon Musk. But for some, that dominance poses another risk, the politicization of space exploration. SpaceX founder Elon Musk routinely promotes far-right views on his social media platform and financially backs U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump. Elon Musk is very opinionated and obviously is dabbling in politics as much as anything else today. SpaceX is delivering good engineering, good hardware, and is driving the space frontier. Personally, I like to keep those two things separate. This is a day for the engineering history books. The most powerful rocket ever built, which could one day send people and supplies to the moon and beyond. Vanessa Lee, CBC News, Montreal.